We could say that that one had a little bit of buildup in it. <laughs> Let's hit that one more time. Now, obviously, there's going to be a little bit of cleaning after this. All right, one more time. I want to hold right over that because it blew up on me a little bit. That definitely blew some stuff out of our sink. In this video, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go over a industrial pipe drudger. Basically what it does, it takes the place of your average like plunger where you'd be plunging out like a toilet, a bathroom sink, a kitchen sink or a bathtub or something. This thing is awesome. Wait till you see how this works. I will demonstrate it here at the end, so stick around for that. So let me go ahead and take it out of the package here. This is how I got it in this box like this right here. It came in this cool case. It did have plastic around it. I've already used it to make sure this thing does work the way they say it. Open it, there's some um, writing right here on the front. You wanna make sure that, not like I did, I had it backwards and fittings fell everywhere. So, and because it opens like this and you could see the words right there. And I don't know how to say that, but I'm just gonna say it's Huxion. Maybe it's called the Huxion Pipe Drudger. And let me show you how this thing works. So it comes in this cool case right here. So you would store it. Look at that. Does that not look like some, like something out of like Call of Duty or something? Look at this thing. So I've got a set of instructions, but you will not need the instructions because I've already used it and I know exactly how it is. You've got the actual unit itself. It's got the label on the side. It has a, you know, a meter here that's got PSI and bar. So it has two different types of settings on it. It comes with a battery and to put the battery on, you basically just go like that right there. And that's how it goes, the battery goes on there. You get a charger and to charge this, let me show you. Oops, I almost turned it on. To charge it, you, ba you can see right here that it's got a full charge on it. So when you hit that, you can see it's got a full charge. To charge it, you go right in the top like that. I've already charged this, so it's all good to go. This fitting right here is your toilet fitting, which is usually, that's I would say that's 90% of your toilets out there. This screws on the end right here, and it goes at that angle for a toilet. This right here will go for a like a squatting toilet. If you've been to China or a lot of other countries outside the US, they use a lot of squatting toilets. And this right here, you would stick it down into the squatting toilet and you blow it up like that and it pressurizes around that. So there's gonna be no like anything coming out. So you can see how that works. This right here will go like in your bathtub, sink or something like that. Your drain will go either that way or that way. So it can either go both ways on that. And this is what they're calling a veggie drain, which I'm pretty sure what, the, what they're calling it a veggie drain, they're talking about a garbage disposal. And if you look at it, it kind of looks like it would fit right in the top of a garbage disposal and blow one of those out. So let me just show you real quick how this thing turns on. So you see the meter right there. So let's say we just want to go, you lock that on. Let's say I'm going to do a bathtub. This is how I would do a bathtub. I would lock that down on there like that. I'd push the button and inside the manual, in the back of the manual, they actually have settings on what it should go at. 99% of the time, you're gonna be between three and four bars. Do not let it go all the way up into the red. You can if you need a little more like power out of it, but try to stay between three and four. Four on a toilet, three on like a bathroom sink or, or a bathtub. So watch this. You guys hear that? I know that was loud. Look at the smoke coming out. Is that not awesome? You see what it's doing? So even though it sounds kind of crazy, what it's doing, it's building up pressure inside this, and then it holds that pressure inside this chamber. And when, when you hit this trigger, see now it's nothing. When I hit this trigger, it blows that pressure out. So if you've got a clog inside your pipes, it will actually just blow whatever it is down and separate it out extremely effective this is an industrial type item this would be great for someone like a landlord or someone that does like plumbing and just needs a quick tool or just around the house and you don't want to sit there and mess with a stupid plunger all day because i can guarantee you this thing works if a plunger doesn't get it throw one of these things on it and it'll blow anything out of there so let me go ahead and let's go set it up on a toilet and i'll show you on a toilet and i will show you on a bathtub 
bathtub. So let's do that now. And so this right here, it does flush good. So this one is not clogged up, but I'm gonna show y'all how to do it just in case it was clogged up. You're gonna loosen that up. That pops on there. Tighten that down as tight as it'll go. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go inside the toilet and it locks into place right there. Now I'm gonna hit the button and let it go to four bar. I'm watching the meter right here on the side as I'm doing this. So four is right there. Cut it off. Now watch what it does when you, when you got it pushed down in there. All that did was blow air through the system. Let's do it one more time. We're at four bar again. So let's go ahead and flush it again. That was good. Now the tank's filling up. So there's the toilet setting. Let's go ahead and let's do the let's do the bathtub now. You can see this fitting right here. This goes to the bathtub and if you go around that way, it'll go to like a sink. So let's hit the bathtub real quick. That all that does is pop on there like that. Once again, you're going to line it up. Look how perfectly it fits around the bathtub. And I'm going to try to like turn it around where you can see that. You only want to go to 3 bar on this one. 3 bars right there. We're at 3 bar. Make sure you got a tight seal. So what might happen is you're gonna have air popping out of here. That's where the overflow is. So let's watch this. It, I felt it blow out right there. I'm gonna do it one more time. Right there, that's blowing out any type of hair or anything that's clogged in there and that'll drain really good right there. This thing's never really drained that good. Look at that, that's draining really good now. So it worked on the bathtub, so there it is. I use it on the bathtub and the toilet there. This thing I highly recommend for anyone that's like maybe a maintenance man or a landlord or just around your house and you're just tired of sitting there plunging with the plungers and you want to use something that is guaranteed to knock a clog out. See you guys in the next video.